Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 SGHT 989. Um, definitely check out the latest version of uh, Beanstalk ROM with Android 4.4 KitKat as you can see here. Uh, you can stuff like, okay Google. Um, it's not working for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Okay Google. San Francisco 49ers. And you get a ton of uh, KitKat features, um, including Quick Office, a Photo Editor, Google Wallet, working out of the box. Um, now, this is a beta ROM. You're going to get a lot of force closes, uh, or just not force closes. It just kind of force closes randomly. Um, so it is not, I don't recommend it as daily driver. And uh, But otherwise, you can expect um, to experience the full KitKat here. Um, you got the Google Now here. Um, to activate that, make sure you go into the Google Now settings and uh, activate that in the launcher. Now this uh, launcher that it comes with, it is a little bit flaky. So it does come with Holo Launcher, Nova Launcher if you want to use that. Uh, but obviously that takes a lot out of the KitKat. So definitely just try it out and also quick office there. And let's actually see if we can run Quadrant real quick. What kind of uh, speeds we get here. Uh, for those of you who've never seen KitKat yet, um, if you don't know what the features are, I do have a top 10 list of KitKat uh, features. So definitely check that out um, so you know what's up. And uh, otherwise, I do recommend, I mean, if you want to just try out what's up with KitKat, you can always go ahead and make a backup ROM, uh, install KitKat ROM, try it, don't like it, restore back to your current ROM. And also one note, you do have to upgrade your clock remote recovery to the latest uh, I think it's six dots, um, 0 dot four dot three. I put it on my site at galaxyst2root.com. It should be in one of the top, um, top, top posts. So definitely check that out, and also have a link on my site and installation directions um, on how to install it. And you do need to upgrade your clock my recovery. Now it will that the new clock my recovery will be backward compatible. Uh, with all of your backups, um, also you know older ROMs, so it will not have a problem. You just have to upgrade it once, uh, and then you'll be able to install KitKat ROMs uh, just fine. So definitely do that before you install. Other than that, um, it's pretty easy to install. You just download the ROM, and also Google Apps. You need to use Android 4.4 Google Apps. Um, don't use 4.3 Google Apps. Um, it will not. Um, it will give you a lot of force closes. Uh, there we go. So 2503. Well, not too bad. Um, but uh, you know, it's here. Definitely try it out. This is you know pretty much stock stock Android 4.4 KitKat as Beanstalk ROM. A lot of features have been uh, removed. Um, that's obviously because it's a new uh, Android OS, and you know they need to really take their time um, to add more features. But I mean, it is usable. The camera. Um, should work if you have an SD card. It wants an SD card. You may be able to install photo, um, you should be able to uninstall the existing gallery and install the Android 4.3 photos for your camera. Then you should be able to use your internal storage um, for taking photos. So that should work just fine. Um, but video play uh, works just fine. And as you can see, there are sometimes like these, oh, I don't want to play that, sorry. I can't play that for copyright reasons. Uh, but it does play. And um, yeah, do check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And again, it's a beta ROM. Um, it may slow down at times. There may be problems, but you do get to try all of the KitKat features. Um, so it's you know it's there. I mean you know I don't recommend it as daily driver, but definitely check it out. Try it out so you can try KitKat now instead of waiting. Um, well, you'll be waiting forever because Samsung will not update to KitKat ever. Uh, but this is just a preview. But it looks really good, just other than those force closes. Um, this just means that stable ROMs are just around the corner. Probably next week, in two weeks, we should have like nearly 99% fully stable KitKat ROMs for the T-Mobile S2. I mean, already this is pretty awesome. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. 
And as always, I stay on Android.